All righty, I am recording now. Okay. Okay. Is there a way to delete this? These are the boards. Yeah, I can delete those off of here. I will highlight them. Let's see, and boom. And these are locked, so let me unlock them, and I can delete them as well. Lock it and delete it. There we go. We will move this since we don't need the first player anymore. And then there are the two little cheat sheet thingies. Yep. One thing I do like the other game for is that the cheat sheets are larger, but if you alt over them, it does... It, just, uh, it didn't increase the size at all for me. <laughs> uh, remember your mouse wheel. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, remember, yeah, remember makes... using your mouse wheel. Yeah, that makes a difference. <laughs> okay. So you get to be first player. I get to be first player, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so what, what is it you do again? Let's see. Um, I take and place one tile or place one investment marker in your barrel. Right. The doubler. Okay. Yep. Um, Let's I'll throw mine out there a second. Remember how many I got too. All right, so I'm going to take up. I'm going to take a tile. But right. I can, I can, I can if I wanted to take one from the uh, real estate. Can't yeah, I? this is the the one across the bottom. This is the real estate market, and then those are your basics, the same ones that we have actually on our board now. For instance, the mint there says two dollars for each of your um, council buildings, right. so that wouldn't count for that. Like, exactly, would that would just count for yours. Exactly. Um, in fact, I don't see one up there right now that says each. If it just says each, you know, if it said $2 for each civic building, then you would get one no matter whose borough it was in. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Um, let's have a look. Mobile home community. Hmm. It's not so bad. And our scores are sitting on two over here, right? Yep, oh, we haven't set them yet. So red goes on two. Yellow goes on two. Am I yellow? You're gray. I'm gray. Um, I guess on this one it's the black one. And I will delete the other two. Okay. Right, in that case, then, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to, I don't know, this is a tough one. Makes <laughs> 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 you think. Yeah. Uh, so if I wanted to take just a, a suburbs or a community park, I'd have to pay the price from on the real estate. So it would perhaps say, yeah. if I wanted to, I could pay $2 and get rid of the municipal airport. Right, plus the draw. cost of whichever one of these is, yes. Oh, plus the cost of that yeah, as well. Yeah, you, you have to pay the cost of that tile plus the the strip cost here of whichever one you're trashing. Okay. Well, in that case, then, I'm going to take... Oh, gosh. <laughs> and, uh, you see you look at it and you think well what do i start off with do i start off with my industrial area do i start off with my my uh, business area do i start off with my residential area uh-huh and it's all such a tough decision because I, I want to start off with my residential area but sure that doesn't give me any income whereas the starting off with the industrial area would do mm -hmm. mm, there's so much tactics in this it's game. definitely a balancing act yeah keep your keep you know the population is victory points but Population don't mean crap if you can't support them with money. Exactly. Yep. Right. Well, in that case, then, I'm going to try something silly, and I'm going to pay 11. Uh-oh. And I'm going to buy a freeway. All right. So uh, I pay 10 there back for that. I put the 5 back and get 4 out. Yep. 1 two, three, four, and then a freeway, 
can go. Yeah. yeah. And I like this one. They've got the snap so that the the uh, yes, they're not nicely into right place. up next to each other. Yep. Yep. It's a much nicer table this than the other one. I mean, if I use it, yeah, eventually use the expansions. I'll just put, pu I'll just pull them over to this one, you know, so we can yeah. actually use this table. So is that your turn now, or is that nope. have I got something you gotta, else? To do? Uh, got to do what it says on the uh, title. Oh, I've got to do what it says on the card. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep. Uh, right. Um, well, I don't get anything for it. I don't get minus one for every adjacent green. Yep. So nothing there. And I get plus one for every adjacent um, business, but mm -hmm. I haven't got any business near yeah, it. I haven't so. business yet. All righty. So there's that. All right. Now you get your income, which is at and zero. And my income is zero. So you yep, don't so make don't any, money. any of that. And then but you get... increase your population by your reputation there. Which is one, isn't it? So uh -huh. if I come over to the population board, I am red. So I, I go forward one. Yep. You have three meeples in your suburb now. Okay. Now it's uh, time to slide to those down. This. Yep. I know you like doing that manually, so go right ahead. It might not work on this if they snap to the grid things. Ah, okay. Okay. And, and then I draw off stack A. a. Yeah. That's right. Parking lot. Parking lot. All right, my go. Um, Lordy. I am thinking, which is a dangerous thing in itself, I'm going to buy the fast food restaurant. So I need to pay seven. I drop that in there. Get my three out. Take the restaurant. Let's see where I'm going to throw it. Um, I will put it right here. Okay. Okay. So I get an immediate plus one to my income. Yep. And then I get plus three meeples for every residential Gr section next to it every green tile so, that's so my population three. goes up by three yep okay and now i look for adjacencies that one doesn't do anything this one gives me a plus one reputation for every green blue, blue or yellow so i get a plus one rep for that People right. like to get we're in the park. They like going to McDonald's. Okay, so now I get my one dollar payment. Payment, and my population goes up by two. Two. So it is now sitting on seven. Okay, these all move down. And we pull out the next one. Wow. Waterfront Realty. A lot of, uh, lot of uh, um, businesses there, commercial buildings. Hmm. Okay. So it's my turn then, is it? Yeah. Well, technically, the first player would move to me now, but I don't. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't like that in a two-player game. Um, you know. Well, uh, no. Let's 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 do it do it that way. It's just just to see how it impacts on the game. All right. Well. Because you see, if I always go first, then I get the first choice of the tiles, don't I? Mm, I guess. Uh, well, in that case, what we got over here? Perfect example of thinking. How much money do I have? Nine. 
You've got loads. I've got nothing. Uh, well, I don't really have anything either, so... Um... I am going to buy the Municipal Airport. Okay, so I need to pay six for that. That's one and five. Next up, I am going to put it down here um, next to my heavy factory. Okay, I get plus one income for every airport. So far, there's just one. See, that's a perfect example there. It says for every airport. So if you build an airport, I get a plus one for it as well. Right. Because it would be, I guess, the traffic coming back and forth between our airports. Yes. And then minus one for every adjacent house, which there isn't one. Yep. And this would get a minus one if it's a, a civic or a residential, and it's not. So there we go. That has got that. So at this point, I get my two coins for my money, which I'm going to throw these three back in and take out a five. You like those high ones and stuff. Okay. And then my population goes up by two. So I'm at nine. And then everything slides down. Hey, landfill. Landfill. All right, your turn, sir. Right. Well, that landfill would would be lovely, but there's no way I can afford it. Yep. I can't afford any of the blue ones that I want. Um, so all I can really do is buy the mobile home thing. It's the only you one I can afford. Got these up here too. Well, yeah, but just saying. Yeah, I mean, I could buy I could buy any of those. Yeah. Uh, and I could remember, buy a factory. And remember, lakes exist as well. So yeah, um, I could buy a factory or something like that. <laughs> just making sure all the exactly. options are known. Hmm? <laughs> okay. She's just, no, no, she's waving hi, G. Hi. We can he stop for hi. a second if she wants to speak. He says he'll stop recording for a second if you want to say anything. Yeah, I've turned it off. Yeah, he's turned it off. Right. All right, we're back. Okay, okay, okay. Now, um, yes, well, I've got four, so I could mm -hmm. buy a park. That's not a good idea. I could buy a heavy factory, which would give me one coin, which I desperately need. Mm -hmm. Um. I will. All right, then I will do. I'll buy the heavy factory, and okay. I will discard, discard the mint. Ouch! Sorry. <laughs> It's not like I wasn't anywhere close to buying it, but that is a nice card. <laughs> it is a nice card. Yeah. I'm getting rid of it. Alrighty. And just drop it in, I guess, over here in the A-tile bin. Is that where it goes? Yeah. I think so. I think it is. It got an A on the back? Uh, it doesn't matter. Possibly. This whole thing resets whenever you reload it. So. Okay. All right. All right, so I take my... Oh, I only need three. I yep. only need only three. Need three. So take three and put them in there. Mm -hmm. Take the factory. Where do I want the factory to go? Do I, want, I don't want it to go next to the freeway. I want it to go the other side. So we're going there. Mm -hmm. Right, so now I do what it says on the cake. Okay, I can start with the top right where it says plus one coin. That's right. So I get plus one income. Good. It says minus one for every civic or residential next to it, which I haven't got any. Yep. So, so good there. I'm good there. So then I get my income doer. Yep. Plus one coin. So I've now got two coins. And I move my people down one. And now I slide the cards. 
Next turn, I won't be able to afford anything. <laughs> What have we got now? An office building. Wow, we've got a lot of blues there. <laughs> Awful lot of blues coming up there. Uh, so, and that's the great thing about you know the game is that they're like over here. If you look, there's 18 A tiles that weren't put out on the board. You know, so yeah. that you know you shuffle them up and you deal out a random assortment. So every game you've got a different. You know, you can't count on something coming up. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I like that. You know, it's like this right here with the airport. You know, it's plus one for every airport, but there might not be any, any more airports on the board. They might all be in the stacks over here, you know? Yes, yes. Nice. Add some yeah. depth of tactics, that. Indeed. Right, that's the end of my turn, then. All righty. So you get first player now. So I'm player one again now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Um, I only have two um, coins. So I can't buy anything. That means I have to take a lake, does it? Right. You can either spend one of your times to investments or you'll have to oh, take a oh, lake. Oh, 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 investments. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't. I can't. I can't afford to put. I have no tile that's worth two because you have to pay the same price. Uh, you the have tile, to pay the you? tile again. Yeah, you do. Darn it. I'm glad you mentioned them, though, because I have to invest in that freeway. Um. Yeah, I can't do anything other than take a take um take a lake. So, do I have to pay the cost of the tile at a turn or? No, you have to pay the cost above. Cost it. above it. So it's, I have to take one of these first two. So, really, I can't take that yeah, one. Yeah, any of those three. So I'll take this this office building one then. Mm -hmm. And flip it as a lake. Yep. And it says two dollars for each tile that's next to it, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So if I put that there, that would give me six dollars. It will, yes. Okay, I'll do that. So I'll take out a five and a one. Yeah, hey, I've got eight dollars now. Yay! <laughs> well, eight million dollars, really, isn't it? <laughs> um, and then get your income. My income, which is one. Mm -hmm. Move my pop down, which is one. On five. Yep. And then slide the cards. What comes up now? A mint. A mint. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You want it, you can have it. We have to pay more for it. <laughs> Gotta pay a hell of a lot for it. Yep. All right, so your turn. All right. Um, the money I have five. <sighs> Lord, um, so tactical. You've got to really plan ahead, and and <laughs> it's difficult mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm thinking that word. Um, there's really nothing. That's another plus. I don't need that. I don't need that. Hmm. I am going to spend. I'm going to do like you. I'm going to spend three. Get me a heavy factory. Okay. There. Get my two out. Grab me a heavy factory. Okay, I am going to trash. Trash the mobile home community. Drop it in there. All right. Now, where am I going to put the heavy factory? 
Is that a good spot for it? Yeah, seems a pretty decent one. That probably is. Don't want to put it up there because I want to put another green one built out this way. So yeah, we'll go there. It's going to be plus one to my income. And minus one for any adjacent everything, nothing. Minus one adjacent, nope. Minus one adjacent, no. nope. No, nope. no civic or residential next to it, so All you're right. okay. So I get three coins now. So I'll throw those in there and get a five. <laughs> I thought you might. <laughs> okay. And then I move my population up by two. Two. So it is now on 11, and it's time to move the properties down one. There are three left in a stack, well, two left after this, a farm. Okay. Okay. There you go. And first player. Now first we get player. to do this all over again. Okay, um, I have five now, and I'm in the same damn boat. Can't afford a blasted thing there. Well, I will buy... by a suburb okay I'm gonna buy a suburb so I'll pay three Put my two back you're only going to get three again anymore but then you're going to put two back and get a five I know I know like, damn it <laughs> <laughs> All right, so suburb. I get two to my reputation. No, I don't. I get two to people. Get two to your pop, yeah. Pop, yeah. yeah, so it's two to pop. Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. I don't like that black tag. Was I sitting on two? At all. Was you sitting on two? Here, let me see if I can tint it a different color. Um, does that work? There we go. Okay. I goes more with this gray anyway. I don't know why they've made it black. Mm. Was I sitting on two? What do you mean, was you sitting on two? My reputation. Yes. 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 Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right, so I get two to population, and then I get plus one to my reputation. And I think that's it. So now I get three back. I ain't gonna worry about that. I just get the damn three. Okay. And then I increase my score by three, which is not good. One, two, and three. Yes. Yep. Since I crossed the red line. Cross the red line, you use one, lose one income and one population. My income drops by one and my reputation drops by one. Okay. And then that's it. We don't slide anything. Oh, I have to get rid of one, right? Yeah. Because I bought a suburb. I didn't trash one of these, did I? Uh, no, you haven't done yet, no. No, I haven't done that. Okay. So, I am going to trash a convenience store. Oh, you swine. <laughs> and everything slides down. And a homeowners association. All right, you're go now. All right question about the waterfront realty uh-huh it uh, it shows it as lake gives you an extra two for each adjacent mm-hmm 
Now, what does that exactly mean? Does that mean then that, so if I bought that, then my lake would give me an extra six your, now? Your lake would give you an extra six now, yes. And um, would I get any money for lakes that you own? Um, no, I would th extra. I think that is any, yes. It doesn't say yours, so it doesn't say adjacent. So, yeah, any lakes in my property should do it as well. Right. I mean, let me take a look. I do have the rules, the actual rules here. So if okay. You hold for just a second. I will pause it. Okay. I do like the rules for this, and the fact they give you a fold-out reference that shows you um, every single tile that's anything other than you know, like this, where it's very nice and simple, you know, plus two, plus two population, you know, that's it. Yeah. Every tile with something like that, it gives you a picture of it and tells you exactly what it does. That is just the ones in your neighborhood. Right. So waterfront real, I couldn't build a waterfront realty and get money for the lakes in your, your neighborhood or vice versa. Okay. But I don't have to put it next to water to do a, do I? No, no. It does it does not have to be next to water. Just these things that are giving you the two dollars have to be adjacent. 